My name is Scott Smith. I'm an ecologist with the Maryland Department of Natural Resources, Wildlife and Heritage Service. And uh, this is a, a bog turtle wetland in Carroll County that um, we have spent a lot of time and, and effort to protect um, with partners like the State Highway Administration and the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service. Back in 1994, I uh, discovered turtles at this site uh, while I was reviewing the uh, proposed Hampstead Bypass. And based on that and some, some work done by Frostburg State University, the, uh, the roadway was redesigned and moved um, uh, a ways from this so it wouldn't impact the site and a bridge had to be put in instead of a very long culvert that we thought the turtles might not use uh, to allow movement of the turtles. Um, this is a species of, of um, wet sedge meadows or what we call fens. Um, they're spring fed uh, like grassland uh, habitats with lots of mud and the bog turtle um, unlike a lot of other turtles it spends most of its time in the mud. It's not really a pond turtle so we don't think about really open water habitats when we're talking about bog turtles. And it's also one of the smallest turtles on planet Earth um, and uh, we're, we're fortunate in that this area Carroll County we have three different major watersheds meet here and bog turtle wetlands tend to be headwater wetlands so so where we have three watersheds meeting, we have a lot of habitat for bog turtles. And so this is kind of an epicenter uh, for bog turtles in Maryland and actually one of the, the densest uh, areas for bog turtles on planet Earth, which is kind of neat. Uh, I think a lot of people think about Carroll County and think, ah, it's just, a, it's just Carroll County, but it, it does have some very unique things and this is one of them. Um, efforts for conservation here, the State Highway Administration, um, uh, when they realized that they did have a couple of uh, really important areas here, they stepped to the plate, they purchased the area, they put to together a group, including myself, that drew up uh, habitat management plans uh, and conservation plans for the properties they, they purchased uh, with, the, with the bog turtle as the, the center of that conservation, but there's a lot of other things they're conserving. And part of that was uh, developing a way to uh, restore and maintain habitats, these open uh, canopy, early successional uh, wet sedge meadow habitats that and um as we have done at some other sites in the county and has been done in some other states, most notably New Jersey, we decided to use some grazing animals, some small grazing animals like goats and sheep to uh, keep the area open. It was a, a really green way to do this. And so um, state highways has uh, um, found themselves uh, being shepherds, so to speak, which is a, probably a, a unique uh, position uh, to be in for probably any state highway administration in any state in the union. So uh, uh, we at DNR really, really appreciate the efforts that the state highway administration has been doing as a they've been a great partner in this whole effort.